Hi, this is Kenneth Wong. Welcome to another episode of DE Video News Roundup. Glad to have you with us, and I hope you and your loved ones are safe. The COVID-19 Challenge, the ventilator design challenge supported by Stratasys and hosted on GrabCAD community, is now entering Phase 2. Now the seven finalists selected will be busy building affordable, easily deployable ventilators. It launched in April, soon after news broke that hospitals were facing a ventilator shortage. A total of 213 entries came in, with engineering drawings and 3D models from different countries using different software. Hi, I'm Aaron Neely. I'm a mechanical engineer from Georgetown, West Virginia. Hi, my name is Jacob. My name is Watso. My name is Omid. My name is Josh Weaver. My name is Ben Coombs. My name is Akash Prem Kumar. I'm Randy. The tag for the challenge is Innovate to Ventilate. Keep in mind, while commercial ventilator vendors and some car makers are now joining the race to produce ventilators, those destined for the commercial market will likely cost between 25000 to 50000 a unit, according to Medtronic. The aim of COVID-19, by contrast, is to produce units that can be built for around 2000 to 3000 So even long after the crisis, they could remain a design resource for other developing countries and underfunded we'll hospitals. Thank you. Our patients now and in the future will be forever grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for joining us in the fight. Finalists will be announced on Tuesday, May 5th. We are excited to continue the journey with you. Breath, Breath is life. The 680-year-old eight-ton bronze doors of the Cathedral of Florence Battisteri got a modern update with the help of 3D printing. Originally installed in 1329, some parts of the doors have endured weather for years, and it shows in the dent and damages accumulated over time. The Italian firm Prototech was the one that got the preservation assignment to help replace the original door with a replica. The tool chosen for the job was Arctic Spider Handheld 3D Scanner to scan and capture the original, then fix the damaged surfaces digitally to produce a 3D printable replica without the damage. The 28 panels from the southern doors were scanned one by one, then reproduced in 3D printing. The plan is not to install 3D printed doors as the replacement, but rather to use the 3D printed models as guide to create molds to recast bronze replicas. The fine details were then chiseled back into the cast models to match the original. The door stood through one of the darkest chapters in Europe, the Black Death or the Plague of 1348. Now they are also set to live through COVID-19. Fusion 360 Autodesk Integrated CAD CAM and Simulation Software Suite is now upgraded with 3D printing production features. You can load the printable digital file, select printer, simulate the print operation, and then print right from the Fusion environment. This comes as part of March 2020 update to the software. 3D Heals, the conference that showcases the use of additive manufacturing in healthcare, has been running regular panel discussions on Zoom, focusing on the use of 3D printing to produce PPE, what to do and what not to do. The next one, 3D Heals 2020, will be fully virtual, according to the organizers. It promises 65 speakers, four workshops with startup pitch and job search sessions. Tickets are around $100 per person at Eventbrite, so you can go check it out. That's it for this episode. For more design and engineering news, visit us at Digital Engineering 247. That's Digital Engineering 247.com. And follow us on Twitter at DE Editor. Thanks for watching. This is Kenneth Wong for DE, and we are out until next time. 